Only a sick person would prey on somebody who's going through something like that. This mid-state woman says someone is holding her dog for ransom. The Shih Tzu Poodle Mix went missing in August tonight. She's on a desperate mission to get her sweet dog back. News Force Kim St. Ange is live. Kim, what does this person want for the dog? A thousand dollars and threatening the woman if she doesn't pay up. The woman hung about a hundred of these posters all around Mount Juliet and Hermitage. Look over here. She even posted on Facebook saying lost dog reward with her phone number. Well, instead of helping, she believes someone is trying to scam her or take advantage of her. Like any dog mom, Kay Moore's phone is filled with pictures of her two-year-old dog, Dallas. She fit in the palm of my hand when I got her. She was just a little baby. She says her roommate let Dallas outside and never came back. She was never one to just wander around and run away. So that's why I think somebody picked her up. For seven weeks, nothing until this text. I have your dog. Give me $1,000 and you can have her back. When Moore asked for proof, the texter replied, the dog likes to do some dance. I'm not sending any pictures. Then threatened to sell Dallas if she didn't pay. On one hand, I think maybe they do have her and they are trying to get this money. But why wouldn't you send me proof if you do? And then on the other hand, you know, you're not wanting to show me proof. So maybe it is a scam. Tonight, I called the number. The text now subscriber you were trying to reach is not available. No luck. 60 seconds later, a text saying, quote, I already sold it. When I press for more information, no response. I have to think how many people are they doing this to before they actually get one that does that, you know, and I'm just trying to prevent that if that's the case. And whether this is a scam or not, always a good idea to report this to police. More plans to do that. I do want to tell you, a local vet warns all of you pet owners about leaving your pets out and just letting them run for free. So when you let them out in the morning, keep a close eye on them. She says the bad guys, they really are just looking for any easy opportunity to snatch them up and make a quick buck. Tom, Tracy? Yeah, preying on the vulnerable for sure. Thank you, Kim.